Good afternoon, my friends, and hello from the Universal Orlando Resort. Today, I am heading inside of Islands of Adventure for a challenge. That challenge being, what can I do with just $50 inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Uh, maybe not too much because I'm sure, as many of you know, visiting a theme park right now is pretty expensive. But I feel like I can stretch this pretty far. I don't know, stay tuned. And then after that, I'm gonna walk around the park, maybe go over to Universal Studios Florida because there's a few really big park updates. And also, something has been really annoying me with just the recent talk about some of the budget cuts that Universal is doing. I have a lot that I wanna say, but let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, I am heading over to Islands of Adventure, but I wanted to point out they have a John Cena t-shirt for $28. You can't see me. <laughs> they have some socks. Wow, and a Hawkamania t-shirt. I'm trying to describe the feeling that I always get as I'm walking over this bridge that leads you over to the park. You have the tower right there. We can see the Incredible Hulk and the Velocicoaster. Just being here at Universal makes you so dang excited because you know you're going to have such an epic adventure. I am now inside of the park. It doesn't seem to be too busy today, which is nice, but I did ask a Universal team member how much a two-park unlimited express pass is going for today. $237 per person plus tax. I think I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to Hogsmeade to start the challenge and then I'll do my park updates. Normally I like to just go ahead and knock out the park updates, but today we have some business to take care of. Okay, I'm approaching Hogsmeade. I did want to point out over here on my right, you have the Hogwarts Express that will take you between both parks and it only has a 10 minute wait right now. Once you enter Hogsmeade, the first thing that you will see is an awesome photo opportunity with the Hogwarts Express. It's definitely not as shoulder to shoulder crowded here inside of Hogsmeade as it normally is. And then over here at Hagrid's, it has a 75 minute wait. My idea was to start off with lunch here at the Three Broomsticks, but the line is kind of crazy right now and I can't mobile order. So I think I'm going to take my chances with Hogshead, which is the bar that's inside of Three Broomsticks. I'm going to go through the back way by the restrooms. Those are the bathrooms. I just came this way. You can find a ATM right there. And this is the seating area for the three broomsticks. I'm just going to go in this way, which is the back way, right to the bar, no line. I love this bar, it's so neat. Here's the menu. I don't think I'm going to get any alcohol because I'm just not in the mood and it's still pretty early. But if you don't want alcohol, you can just get butterbeer here. And of course, any other drinks. I just decided to get a regular butterbeer. Unfortunately, they do not sell the vegan butterbeer at the bar Hogshead. You do have to go to the actual restaurant, but that's okay. I'm very excited. This was $8.62. Cheers to my fellow muggles. Oh yeah, that's how you know it's good when you have the butterbeer mustache. <laughs> I did want to quickly mention I am using my pass holder discount, so it's saving me a little bit of money, but not too much. Next up, let's go see what we can find inside of Honey Dukes. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. It smells like a candy store, which it is. We have so many options to choose from in here. Let's see what they have over here oh my goodness gracious we have a witch hat cupcake a cauldron cake some apples a ton of fudge they still have the butterbeer caramel that i got to try on my last visit vanilla bean caramel and a coffee caramel i may have to try the coffee one got some cookies up here pumpkin pastry 
and some more fudge. This is what I decided to go with. I wanted to try the coffee caramel because it looks very good. Like I said, this is very similar to the butterbeer caramel that I tried a few weeks ago. Looks very good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It is very caramely. Like if you really enjoy caramel, you're really going to enjoy this treat. The coffee flavor, it's nice. Not too overpowering, not too light. It's just right. I think it blends very well together. Then you have the coffee beans on top. And I really like the dark chocolate flavor. At least I think it's dark chocolate. I really appreciate how Universal is experimenting on more delicious treats and drinks and food. I just really like how Universal continues to change things up. Here's what the inside looks like. Very good treat. If you did not know, here inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they do have an interactive wand experience here in a few of the windows and all over both Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. However, I did want to point out Universal is currently redoing some of the interactive windows improving them, making them easier to use. Here's another interactive wand experience that is currently receiving an update. Next up, let's go inside of Ollivander's and see if we can purchase a wand to give away. Oh my, this isn't much of a store right now. Looks like Ollivander's is receiving a update as well. They still have some wands to choose from but the entire store is not open at the moment. I may go outside and see if they have more options at one of the little stores as you exit Haggard's. Danger. Book may bite. There's a warning. <laughs> right up here. Keep in mind, you do have the option to personalize a wand. And over here, we have some wands from fantastic beast like Newt Scamander, Ron Weasley, Neville, Luna Lovegood, Ginny Weasley, Harry Potter, Hermione, that Professor McGonnell. That's the exit of Hagrid's and this is the little kiosk that I was talking about. You know what? The line doesn't seem very long for the Ollivander's experience. I'm going to hop in line and let's see the show. As I'm waiting in line, I'm just looking all around me and just appreciating the design of Hogsmeade even more. It's so incredible what the creative team here at Universal was able to do with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I mean, there's no other place in the world like this place. And I can't wait to see what Universal Creative does inside of their newest theme park, Epic Universe, which is set to open next year in 2025. I only waited 15 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so cool. I have not done this in a very long time. There's wands everywhere. Just like when Harry got his wand, or the wand chose Harry. Welcome to all about us. Make us a fine wand since 382 BC. Here at Hall of Anders, only the finest elements are used for our wands, and only a few particular types of wood are of wand quality. What is your name? Joanna. Yes, of course. I was wondering when I was going to be seeing you. Please come into the light so that I may see you more clearly. Right here, if you want. Flower, 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 flower. Now, you may know that every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful natural substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the hut strings of dragons. No two Ollivander wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. Of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. So, let us begin. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's see here. Ah, yes, here it is. A wand of Potter. Hmm? Now, 13 inches long. 
solid. It's a dragon hat string core, there you go. Yeah. Now let's try it out, shall we? If you would, please water my flowers by pointing your wand at them, concentrate and say augmenti. Augmenti. Yes, that's it, very good. Oh, no, no, definitely not. Oh. Not to worry though, your wand is here somewhere, we shall find it. <laughs> You see, the best results must always come where there is the strongest affinity between wizard and, and wand. Yes, yes, of course, why not? Aha! A wand of sycamore! Hmm? Now, let's see here. Thirteen and a half inches long, swishy. Ah, a unicorn hair cord. Now, if you would, please bring that ladder over here by pointing your wand at it, concentrate, and say, Occhio Ladder. Occhio Ladder. Yes, that's it. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. oh, curious. Not quite what I had in mind, but quite, quite curious. No, this is not your wand. Not a word. Your wand is here somewhere, and we shall find it. You see, the best results must always come where there is the strongest affinity between wizard. I wonder. <laughs> this is an excellent wand for charm work and divination, and with a unicorn hair core, your charismatic charm will help you. Way. Please feel free to peruse our entire collection of wands through those doors and thank you for selecting all of us. I think I'm going to go with a Luna Lovegood wand. I don't know why it's just calling my name. I love this character. I also really love Bellatrix. I think this would be a great giveaway. Behind the cash register, they have all of the Harry Potter books available in Blu rays, which are 30% off. We also have illustrated versions of the pop-up of your dream. Oh my goodness, thank you. It's pretty cool that you can get that here from Universal. There's Hagrid's going by. Such a fun coaster. Well, I am now officially over budget with my annual pass holder discount. This was $62.30. Without my discount, this would have been $70. So I feel like the price has increased, but for you guys, it's worth it. I did use more of my money for this, so I'm still going to purchase a few treats here inside of Hogsmeade before I leave but I will be giving this away to one of you. You know what? I may actually try to do a spell with this new wand. I think that would be a fun idea, but this giveaway is open to anyone. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know your favorite Harry Potter character. And then within the week, I will select one of you to win this Luna Lovegood wand. And this is how you can tell that this is a spell location. When you look down and you'll see this medallion telling you the spell in which direction to point your wand. And then there's the interactive window where you will cast your spell. Let's see here. Oh, I got it. I'm still a wizard, look at that. <laughs> Let's try one more, why not? Oh, I did it, my first try. You see it? Oh, there's one here, yeah. Now, I just wanna try all of the spells around Hogsmeade. I guess I'm still a wizard. All right, let's see. So try pointing up at the M and you're gonna trace it. Gotcha, thank you. What? I did it. You ruined his bath water. Look at that. <laughs> I found another one. Oh, I did it. Yes. I'm a little rusty. I want to try the music box. This one is the hardest one. Let's see if I still have it. 
Got it on my first try. Well, that was such a blast. You do have a few more spells over here on the right hand side of Three Broomsticks and Hogshead, but these are the prime locations, so there's just going to be a lot more people over here compared to the other locations. I believe there's two right here. Oh, never mind. There's three right here. So that's the third one, the second one, and then the first one is right there. I'm going to find myself a quick treat. I'm looking at these pastries down here. I decided to go with the chicken pastry and a ghillie water. And with my pass holder discount, this was $14.49. Here's what the inside looks like. So the chicken pastry was okay. If I'm being honest, it was not my favorite. I mean, it definitely got the job done because it is a grab and go option. And when you're at a theme park, you want that convenience just to grab something and go get in line for the next attraction. However, it just tasted like a vegetable soup with not that much chicken. It wasn't horrible. It was decent, it was solid, but all around, I am so happy that I got to try different things from Hogsmeade inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Obviously, I went way over budget because of the wand, but I had so much fun interacting with the wand, doing different spells around Hogsmeade. My grand total for today was $90.69. Yeah, a little over budget, but you know, like I said in the beginning, when you come to any theme park, it's just expensive nowadays, but you know, having fun is priceless. Forbidden Journey is sitting at a 25 minute standby wait. And then over here, Flight of the Hippogriff has a 50 minute wait. Whoa. Let's continue on throughout Islands of Adventure. Let's check on some park updates and then I think I may make a very quick stop over at the other park. The Velocicoaster is sitting at a 60 minute standby wait at the moment. They have the smaller dinosaur out having a meet and greet at the moment. Oh my. Just putting this out there Universal, I would love a Kong versus Godzilla attraction at any of the Universal theme parks. I mean, how amazing would that be being put right in the center of a Titan battle? I mean, holy cow. By the way, Kong is sitting at a 20 minute standby wait at the moment. And the outdoor portion of this attraction is still not operating. This is off subject a little bit, but I was just thinking back to that chicken pastry I don't think that was a chicken pastry. I think that was beef, and that's why it tasted like more like a beef and vegetable soup. Uh, I don't know. I was looking back at that clip, and it did not look like chicken. It looked more like beef, but I did order the chicken pastry. Everything is back to running back here by Popeyes. Let's quickly make a stop inside of the Pass Holder Lounge. They do have the brand new How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke merchandise that just came out with the recent announcement. They still have more of the Epic Universe t-shirts, and this was the first t-shirt that came out from Epic. They have a flag down here. There's the t-shirt, and these are $30. This one is for the kiddos for $25. And then they have a coffee mug. I love this pass holder lounge, especially on a hot day like today is because the air conditioning feels wonderful in here. They have tables, they have drinks, they have exclusive merchandise. And sometimes they'll have like a character meet and greet in here. Like during the Christmas season, the Grinch would make a daily appearance here, but they wouldn't never tell us the time to be exact, but it's just a really nice perk that Universal offers for their pass holders. Some other recent Universal news. We now have the official dates regarding Halloween Horror Nights 2024. The event starts on August 30th this year. It's the earliest it's ever started and it goes through November 3rd. Tickets are now on sale. Oh wow, Marvel Superhero Island doesn't look too busy right now. Passing by the amazing adventures of Spider-Man, the front entrance is still not done because Universal is currently redoing the main entrance here. You enter through the side now. Hopefully this front entrance opens pretty soon. 
right now, the incredible Hulk coaster is only sitting at a 15 minute wait. I am heading out of Islands of Adventure. I'm going to make my way over to Universal Studios Florida quickly, but before I make it to the other park, I wanna talk about why I'm so annoyed. So recently, Universal has been making a few budget cuts, especially within the entertainment portion of the parks and I've been reading comments, I've been reading the boards online, I've been watching a few other universal creators about this subject matter, and a lot of people feel some type of way about what Universal is doing within their budget cuts. And I have a lot of thoughts and I wanna make something clear real quick. When theme parks, any theme park, needs to save money. They're going to go to the drawing board and see what they can cut, what they can cut the easiest. And again, at any theme park, they will always cut entertainment first. However, I agree, I don't like to see any actors or any team member, cast member, employee, I don't like to see a company get rid of these people because these people are what makes the theme park so awesome. And because I come from a entertainment background, I know what it's like. That's why you sign contracts because the company can only guarantee you X amount of time per the contract. Sometimes your contract will get renewed and sometimes your contract won't. And most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, the company will send these people somewhere else. That way they still have a job, but in some cases, they don't. And something that I need you guys to understand is the reasoning why, at least why I believe Universal is making these budget cuts. You have to remember, they are building a multi-million dollar brand new theme park right down the road. Epic Universe is going to be the best theme park in the United States when that park opens. I don't think any other theme park can match what Epic Universe is about to bring. And I do find it a little asinine that these people are now trashing Universal for getting rid of some entertainment and again just making standard budget cuts but when Disney was doing all of this budget cutting and getting rid of like the citizens of Hollywood at Hollywood Studios yeah people were upset about it but they weren't throwing a fit like they are with Universal doing their budget cuts and Disney was doing this long before Universal was doing this I just find it a bit weird Universal is the only theme park right now within the Central Florida area that are continuing to bring new and exciting changes to their theme parks. And right now, Disney is pretty stale. It's a little boring. And that's why I stopped going to Disney as of now. I will return with the Disney content, but something new needs to happen before I go back to Disney. I just don't think that's fair of you guys to at Universal right now with the budget cuts and the things that they're doing and raising the prices for like Halloween Horror Nights. Yes, that really sucks. That really, really does stink. But that's just how the world is right now. That's how every business is operating, even Starbucks, even Apple. Go look at the numbers. Every business is doing this right now. And you have to remember, Universal is doing this for a reason. So they can put even more money into Epic Universe to get that park open earlier get it going because epic universe is going to be absolutely incredible just wait we don't have that much longer to wait that's why i'm a little annoyed i'm not going to put any more energy into this subject matter because i've been hearing this for a little over a month now and more and more topics and videos and articles are coming out about universal and i don't like it you just have to remember the bigger picture here. And the bigger picture is again, Epic Universe. Now let's head over to Universal Studios Florida to end the video. Grad Bash is currently going on here at Universal. Congratulations to the class of 2024. I am now inside of Universal Studios Florida and a lot of this news regarding the budget cuts came from the recent news of 
Cappy, which was the gentleman who would be right here in front of the yellow cab greeting guests as they first enter the park. Great performer. He's going to be missed. Again, entertainment will always be the first thing to go. I just really came over to this park to talk about that. I want to go back and see a construction update on DreamWorks Land because a lot of the attractions have been testing. And then I wanna take a look at the new Lagoon Show as progress is still being made. I made a stop inside of the Five and Dime store because we have the newest Halloween Horror Nights merchandise that just came out and people were having fits over the design of this t-shirt. But since then, because Universal listens to the community, they have released a black t-shirt. So, for those of you who don't like the orange, don't like the John Cena type shirt, they did release one in black. Looks like the Media Center is open for previews today and you did not hear this from me, but if you see these signs, go find the nearest team member because they do have team members out here and if you want a free gift card to spend on your vacation go check the preview out. Poppy is out having a meet and greet in front of the DreamWorks sign. I'm not seeing any testing at the moment. I'm gonna wait around and see if anything happens but this place looks pretty much done. There's only a few finishing touches that Universal has to do. I think this is going to open within the next two-ish months. I have heard rumors that once DreamWorks Land opens that Universal would be rerouting the main entrance of ET. But yeah, everything is looking really good back here. Still no testing. Oh, they just opened the door. I missed it. Whoa, Universal has filled the lagoon back up. It looks good. I feel like this could possibly debut around Memorial Day, which is not that far away. We can still see the fountains. And then over here, I want to say they are either extending the walkway further in, that way more people can watch the show, or this could be where the drones will take off from. Not really sure, but that's interesting to me. A lot of work is being done right there. Other than that, it's looking close. It really is. It looks like inside of the Brown Derby hat store, they're having a Universal team member garage sale or something like that. I seen a sign that said up to 90% off. Currently, Minion Mayhem is sitting at a 35 minute standby wait. And then across the way over at VillainCon, it only has a five minute wait. I'm walking through CityWalk now and I wanted to give you a quick update regarding the Epic Universe Preview Center. Can't really notice anything different since my last video, but I'm sure they're making progress inside. We do have some big news that just came out regarding Quiet Flight Surf Shop, which is now closed. And then Cinnabon will be closing here shortly. These two establishments will be closing down to make room for some new experiences. Now, rumor on the street, and Universal has not confirmed this, but the surf shop will be a Super Nintendo World store, and then Cinnabon will be rethemed into like a butterbeer bar or something like that. I'm excited to see what Universal does with this location. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I had so much fun casting my spells around Hogsmeade with my interactive wand. Remember to let me know your favorite Harry Potter character and I will select a winner next Monday on April 22nd. Anyway, if you have to take one thing away from this video regarding my $50 budget that I had, be prepared. Budget in souvenirs, food costs, because it will add up so quick here at the Central Florida theme parks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.